If there's one thing that I could scream from the mountaintops, I would say that my first ever lockdown creation build was amazing. It stopped guards, it stopped shooting guards, and it even stopped small forwards. But you wanna know the one thing that I always dreaded about my build? was that it was way too slow. For whatever reason, at 6'7", I'm just not fast enough to keep up with guards that I get switched on 99% of the time. So, instead of thinking of it from a standpoint of, oh, I just need to tweak my build, I've decided to go a totally different route. And that's why you're watching this video. It's finally time for me to make my rebirth build. It's been a while. Season one is almost over. We have a few days left until season one is over and season two is right around the corner. So I've decided to go ahead and do something that nobody think I would do. I've decided to go on NBA 2K Lab and grab me a meta build. Now, 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 I know what y'all thinking. Pod, no, Pod, please don't do it, Pod. Don't go meta. Let me explain something to you. NBA 2K Lab is making this the easiest year that I've ever had in 2K. Every single year, I'm always scanning, doing a whole bunch of homework, crunching the numbers on the late night, tweaking builds, 1.2 points, 1.2 points, what badge, what badge, what badge. I've decided to just make it easy on myself. And you can do the exact same as me. You can go to NBA2KLab.com, sign up, check out, use the code iPod, and go ahead and get yourself a 20% discount. I'm, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, for the premium sub, they got some good stuff on I done found five jump shots that I like. I narrowed it down to three. Um, I've been I've been tweaking in and out of three of them. I, I promise you by the end of the week, I'm gonna have one. I, I promise, but if they make more, God damn it, I'm gonna try more. Hey, 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 hey look, that's all. Hey, who cares about percentage when everybody shoots 50%, right? That, that's the best thing about this year. Everybody shoots so bad in this game that you can really test out a bunch of jump shots. So I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I got my login. You know, that's all I'm saying. Now, one of the common challenges that we have as lockdowns is trying to balance our defensive abilities versus our playmaking abilities. Now, technically, that does not just mean passing, dribbling, and speed with ball. I'm talking about all facets of the offensive end. As a defender, we're like, yo, we can do it all. We can steal, we can leap, we can block, we can sometimes rebound. But most of all, we always fall back on, well, we can only shoot from this far. We can only drive to the lane and do this thing. We can only pass the ball this far. We can only dribble the ball maybe once or twice. I finally found a build that is not only good, but it makes me look better than I really am at lockdown. It essentially makes me feel like the shooting guard that I've always wanted to be. So, of course, the first thing that you want to do is come in, create your name, all of that jazz, whatever you want, right? And the the actual build that I chose at shooting guard, I could have went small forward, but I'd rather I be at shooting guard. So when the teams are being built out, if there's any small fours actually on my team, I get my spot. Now, 6'4", 233 pounds. I know you guys are like, oh my God, he's so heavy. He's so chunky. Listen, man. All of us ain't skinny as, ain't, everybody ain't got 11% body fat, okay? We big burly over here, okay? Big shoulders, all right? But, but no, 6'11 on the wingspan, and as you can see, there are many, many potentials of 99 overall for this build. Now, there is one thing that is in this game called cat breakers. We'll talk a bit about that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and go over the attributes that we see here and why I chose them. Now let's talk about the attributes that stand out the most with this build. We have an 85 driving dunk. We have an 89 three-pointer. I know y'all like, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished though, right? Okay, okay. We got an 80 ball handle. That's something that you generally don't see from a lockdown. The 80 ball handle is going to give us animations that we have been yearning for okay we got a 75 speed with ball we have a 94 perimeter defense all i'm saying is that boy good clamp shitty we got a 96 still we even got a 68 block and we'll talk about why that is in a moment and we also got a 71 offensive rebound now i don't know about y'all but at 85 driving dunk mixed with a 71 o board them putbacks about to be crazy. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we also went with a 56 defensive rebound just in case we have to chase a board or we box out and a ball falls right at our feet and we got to grab it. We're not trying to leap with nobody. 
We just trying to make sure we can secure with box out beasts just to get them boards. We got an 88 speed, an 86 agility, which is completely fine because obviously if y'all seen my 6-7 build, it kept up pretty good with every other build out there. That's all I'm saying. We got a 92 strength. I know y'all probably like, Pa, why, bro? Why 92 strength, man? Obviously, y'all see the badges, bro. Y'all see the badges. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to go to the, the biggest badge on the board right now. Legend, a movable enforcer. Oh, my God. Oh, run into me. Just, ugh. 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 Where you going? Ugh. Bounce back. Boom. It's like... Yo, when people run into me, they're going to be bouncing off me like bullets, yo. I'm legit Superman on the, on the court. I'm legit Superman now. <laughs> like, like literally. Also, don't forget we got Hall of Fame off-ball pass. We also got Hall of Fame interceptor, which will probably be getting moved up to Legend. We'll talk about that in a moment. We have Hall of Fame glove that could possibly get moved up to Legend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also have... Hall of Fame, strong handle, move out the way, move out the way. Chat, listen, y'all y'all don't understand, right? I'm not sure if you know, but when I created my first build on NBA 2K25, I had literally no real help. I was putting things together as a test case. I was testing out gold badges. I was testing out a few Hall of Fame badges and I was using my max plus ones from tier one and tier two to try out different badges and see what I liked. Now, granted, I loved Area Wizard and I know a lot of you might love Area Wizard too, but I didn't love it enough. You see what I'm saying? Area Wizard for me on my first build was at gold. On this build, it's at bronze. I felt like, there weren't enough people throwing me lobs. And I also felt like sometimes I would get thrown lobs and what I would go inside the animation and no meter would appear. And the ball would go straight past me out of bounds for whatever reason. I just couldn't fathom what was happening. So I told myself when I went to NBA 2K Lab, oh, this joint ain't got, it ain't got Aerial Wizard. But I was like, you know what? It ain't like I'm getting nine lobs a game. I'm not getting nine lobs. If I had got nine lobs a game for 18 points, that'd be a different story. But I wasn't getting that many lobs. I would maybe get one lob, or if I was on a fast break, I would probably throw it off the glass to myself maybe once every six games. So I realized that I didn't really need Aerial Wizard. It wasn't really that important to me. But let's talk about what is important. Ooh, chat. I was using set shot specialist on gold with my six, seven build. And I had to use a max plus one to get it to gold. With this six, four build, it's already on gold. I could just imagine what that max plus one gonna look like on Hall of Fame. I could just imagine. And, 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 and also, also, I just wanna say, <laughs> there's a couple other things that we need to talk about as well. That limitless range. Already on silver, out of the box, cooling, dead eye, cooling. L listen, chat, shifty shooter, shifty shooter on silver. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. And also, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know what we're gonna talk about. That's me with ball, baby. Listen, everyone knows that my six seven lockdown had abysmal. Speed with ball. It was terrible. But I get lightning launch on silver baseline without cat breakers, without max plus one. So why not throw a little max plus one on that? Get me a lane still or get me a, a, a pluck or, or a, a booty still. Oh, that's bump still if y'all ain't know. And I'm out to the races. Lightning launch, push dribbles. I'm off to the race. I got an 85 driving dunk. Who gonna stop me? I'm so much faster with the ball now. So much faster. And of course, <laughs> the perimeter defense. <laughs> A movable enforcer on legend is insane in its own right. But I get pig dodger on gold. 
I get on ball menace on goal and I get challenger on goal with the option, with the option to move all of these badges to Hall of Fame with my cat breakers. All the red, all these gold badges purple. Let me get them purple. Go ahead, go ahead, send them purples. I need those. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Also, the steel. Now, there has been placebo effect. A lot of people have been saying between Legend Glove and Legend Interceptor and their Hall of Fame counterparts. So if I don't want to, I don't have to use my cat breakers on any of this. I'm completely fine in that regard. I won't really need them. But you know what I will need? That speed, that agility, and that god darn speed with ball. Every cat breaker I earn, after putting up my perimeter to Hall of Fame, which is one point, two point, three point. All I need to use is three points out of all the cat breakers I will be unlocking for this build and everything else will be fed into speed, agility, and speed with ball. Just amazing. Now, now the crazy thing is, chat, this can go, I'm, I'm, let me let me show you how far how far the speed with ball can go. Just 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 real quick, just real quick. The speed with ball can go up to an 88. It can go up to an 88. With a six forward lock build, it can go to an 88. Just imagine if I kept my speed and my agility just the same. But my speed with ball, I just keep ticking, 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 ticking. Not like a time bomb, but like greatness. What if I did that? What if I did it? What if I just decided, you know what? Why not? Why not go crazy? It's possible. If you don't know me by now, I only use Slice as a takeover and 3 and D as a takeover. It all depends on what type of guard that I'm playing with. If I'm playing with a guard who loves to use screens and I'm going to be sitting hash, most likely, I'm going to choose 3 and D every single time. But if I'm using Slice, that means that I'm working with a guard that's playing 5 out that may need me to cut back door or cut from the hash at any given time to go dunk on something. So as my takeover is going up from getting steals, playing on the offensive end, getting dunks and stuff like that, or even faking a go up and kicking it out, that slice in 3 and D is just, oh, that's all I'm gonna say. Now, let's talk about the shades for a moment because I know a lot of people always talk, oh, it's gonna be shades of ass. Listen, everybody knows right now, that the best motion style in the game for guards is Alex Caruso. So if I have his shades, I might be doing something right here. Now, of course, the build name is a two-way, three-level shot creator. You know what I'm saying? That, that shot creator name sound dope, right? Boy, I can't wait to start doing moving threes, bro. It's finna be a move. I don't even have to slow down. Now, of course, all you gotta do is flick up on the right stick if you want a quick stop. But bro, that's all I gotta do. It's literally it, flick up on the stick and shoot that ball. All right, we've made it to the end of the video. I wanted to showcase what this build is actually gonna look like at the end of its inception. Obviously, you already know, this is a rebirth build. So it's going to be 99 overall immediately. It is a whopping 374,000 VC. Well, I'm sorry, 968. They should have just put 375K. Like why, why, why with the 964? What, what what's up with that 964 VC? You know what what, what's up with that? Just make it 375 and we can just call a spade a spade because we know what you're doing, 2K. Now, I want to show y'all something. It says 546 new requirements met. From a 60 overall, look at the animations I get. Look at the crossovers I'm able to get. The behind the backs. The step packs, the spins, the hezzies, the signature size ups, the regular breakdown combo, aggressive breakdown combo, escape moves, combo moves. My listen, I'm getting so much here. It listen, look at all the stuff that unlocks. It it ain't just just these. I'm getting I'm getting everything. I'm getting everything. Literally everything here that unlocks. It's, it's just you can just look at it. It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at it. It's just so amazing. Look at all these dunks that I get, guys. <laughs> okay, let me let me let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. 
what I what I'm saying is y'all literally this this build is gonna change the way that I play the game. It it's gonna make me happier. It's literally gonna make me happier. Like legitly. Like look look at this, man. I can't be mad at this. I have a potential to have almost every gold badge that I have almost at gold, except except for well, actually, you know what? <laughs> little, little birdie. Set shot specialist definitely going to be on Hall of Fame, but not in a traditional way. We're going to max plus one that because I, I my three pointer just don't go no higher. It's capped. So I can't break that cap. You see what I'm saying? But everything else, it, it has the ability to go up. It literally does because my agility is so high that all of my other badges for defense already admit like it admits that. Oh, I want to be purple. I want to be purple. Just cat breaker me, please. <laughs> now, this is the moment where I ask you guys, is this build a W or a L? I encourage you to leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts about this build. And if you think you would use it, and if you do, don't be afraid to tag me on social media. I'm on TikTok now. I've been on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Twitter's a nice place. Uh, I do have other YouTube channels as well. Just just tag me, man, and I'll check out your content. I'll even drop a comment. So so definitely, if you do try this build, make sure you go ahead and leave me a comment and be like, yo, pie. this the one. <laughs> nah, but in all honesty, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that like button. It's free. You feel what I'm saying? And if you have any more videos that you guys want me to talk about, make, or whatever the case may be, Drop those in the comments as well. I'll pin those because I like actually talking back to y'all, not just in the comment section, but in the video form, all right? But this is your boy, IKC, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong. King Kong.